Hi, this is Forrest Briggs. I'm going to try to write a, a small web game really quick, and I'm going to screencast about it. Um, the game that I want to write is going to be Magnet Golf, and you can see this picture of it right here. Uh, it's a little sketch I drew. Uh, there's going to be a puck that comes in on one side of the screen, and it'll travel over to the other side where there'll be a goal, but there'll be obstacles in the way, and positive and negative charges that change the the direction of the puck, and the user will be able to drag the charges around to, to steer it, and you'll try to get it in, in as few shots as possible. So that's the idea. Um, I'm going to build it in Flash CS3, and let's just get started. So I'm going to make a new folder, call it Magnet Golf. Now I'm going to go to Flash and make a new project. Let's save it. So it is magnetgolf.fla. Magnet golf. And I'm going to go to the document class property and call that magnet golf so that it will instantiate my magnet golf class when it creates this, uh, this FLA. Now I'm going to make the magnet golf class. And this has got to be a subclass of a display object, so I'm going to import flash.display.sprite and magnet golf will extend that. It's working. Yay, let's trace this out. Syntax error. What syntax error might that be? Extends. That's pretty neat. Okay. Alright, now it says yay. We're good to start. I think the first thing I want to do is just draw a couple graphics for my game, because that's really easy. I'm going to make the background black. If you like out of the space. I like to do a 640 by 480. And, alright, so what were some of the things in the game? There's the goal, or the puck. Let's make that first. I'm going to make it a subclass of sprite because it's not going to be animated. What this does is it'll make it so that I can access it through action script. And my puck is just going to be a little blue circle. Make it 24 by 24 and 24 by 24 and centered. Okay. That's going to be my puck. Not very pretty, but it'll do for now. Uh, now I need a positive and negative charge. Plus Red circle with the plus. Sign. Make that plus white. There's my plus, and I don't want it to be a text object. I want it to be graphics. So I'm gonna break it apart. Drag it to the middle. Plus. Okay, I've got a plus charge. I also need a minus charge. Minus charge. And that's going to look pretty much like the plus charge, but with a minus in it. Done here. Break that apart. Drag it in 
and it's not quite centered as I'd like, but that's all the graphics I'm going to make for now. Okay, so I've got some graphics. I think I'm going to put my puck on the stage and have it slide to the left. So how I'm going to do that. Public there, puck is a puck. I can make a thing of the type puck because I just defined it in the library. So puck equals new puck. child puck and I want to put it on the left side of the screen and centered so puck.x is going to be 20 and puck.y will be 240 which is half of 40. And let's take a look at that. Alright, there we go. I've got my puck over here on the left side of the screen. Now I want I want the puck to drift to the right. So I'm going to give it a velocity. So Vx and Vy are the components of its velocity. And I'm going to set them up initially so that the x velocity is 1 and the y velocity is 0. All right, now we need to make it update every frame. And actually, I'm going to come back to my Flash movie, and it defaults to 12 frames per second, which is pretty slow, so I'm going to make that 30. Now, I'm going to add an event listener. I need to import some events. I'm just going to import all of them. Event listener uh, event dot enter frame update false zero true. So what that's going to do is it's going to call this function update whenever a frame begins. And I'm going to make the type of the argument for update star because I don't really care what it's going to pass me. And I'll make it default to null so that I can call it without passing an event. Okay, now I've got an update function, and what update is going to do is it's going to say puck dot x equals, well, plus equals puck dot, or er, puck vx, so it's going to move it by its velocity, do the same for y. Let's take a look. There we go. Alright, now we have the puck moving leftward. Um, I'm going to stop in this clip and break it at the next one. And in the next clip, we'll, we'll add the magnets.